Hi everybody, this is Coach Vicki. Um, I'm going to run you through a workout. Uh, this workout is for Silver Team, Advanced, 1 and 2, Boys and Girls. Um, when it comes to the stretch, I am going to do a generic stretch, which means it's more for uh, Advanced, 1 and 2, Boys and Girls. Silver team, you guys need to do the same stretch that you have at the gym. Um, the stretches, not the gymnastics, the stretch stuff. So when we're done with our cardio warm up, hit pause, do your team stretch, and then find where the conditioning begins and then follow from there. All right, here we go. We're gonna start off with 25 jumping jacks. Go. This is Trenton, if you didn't know, this is my son. He's helping us demonstrate today. We're gonna do 25 jumping jacks, 25 squat jacks, 25 jumping jacks, 25 squat jacks. So just like squat. Yep. Yeah, stay in a squat. It's a very awkward exercise. I'm trying to hit your quads a little bit. You got 25 like that, and then back to regular jumping jacks. So, so again, we do that twice. Back to jumping jacks. Try to get your arms up a little higher. Should be way up here. Okay, so again, 25 jumping jacks, 25 squat jacks, 25 jumping jacks, 25 squat jacks. This workout is purposely done in a way that doesn't take a lot of room because I know you're doing it at home. 25 squat jacks. While he's finishing that up, the next exercise starts like this. And it's a single leg skip and hop and use your arms. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Go up as high as you can. Push down with that leg as hard as you can. Doing 10 on each side. Opposite arms. Switch arms there. Left. Up. I was. You were good on that one leg. Good. All right, those are single leg skip and hops. Did you do 10? All right, next thing is deep lunge, jump and switch. So you're going to be here. Hands could be down, hands could be here, hands could be up there. From here you jump and switch. The back knee does not touch the floor. There you go. We're doing 20. Again, the harder you jump, the more you're working your legs. This should be kind of fast paced. We're warming up. Trying to get your heart rate up. Maybe even make you sweat a little bit. Do this outside. Get some vitamin D. Yes, 20. You done? Okay. Next thing, 10 candlestick straight jumps. Don't matter. Good. Jump up as high as you can. If you want to make this harder, do it with your hands behind your head or do it with your hands here. If you want to make it harder than that, do it with your arms by your ears the whole time. All right, we're done with our cardio. We're gonna go into that generic stretch. Silver team, you guys need to do your regular stretch. All right, five arm circles. Big and straight. Five backwards. Five side to side. Wrists. Try to press your knees apart with your elbows. 
Eight, pike stretch. Grab your ankles, pull yourself down. Toes should be pointed, knees should be down. Flex your feet, try to grab your toes. Pull yourself down. All right, let's move on to straddle. Reach to the side. Keep your knees down, keep your toes pointed. You can pull yourself down more. Switch sides. And down the middle. I'm gonna hold these for about 10 to 15 seconds each. All right, legs together, shake them out. And face that way, we're gonna do bridges. All right, we're just gonna go right into the bridges, no count of six. All right, get up into your bridge and walk your feet in and stretch that back. Make sure your elbows are straight. Give it about three to five stretches, come down, tuck and roll. We're doing three bridges. All right, let's go again, second bridge. This time, try jumping your feet. All right, come down and tuck and roll. Those of you that are capable, if you can jump and get to a handstand and then back to the bridge, that's really good. All right, we're gonna do one more bridge. Push your bridge up. Walk your feet in. Try holding one leg up. Try the other leg. If you can get your leg up, pointing straight up to the roof, that would be really, really good. All right, come on down and tuck and roll. All right, last thing left is our bridge, our splits. All right, let's get on our knees. We're gonna do front lunge on this one. All right, and front lunge. Straight, no. Lean forward, hips down, chest up. Make sure your body is nice and straight. All right, put your hands on the ground, back lunge. Again, keep working on keeping that body straight. Okay, and let's slide into our split. 10 second balance. Here we go. One, two, three, ow, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Start with our front lunge again. Again, make sure your body's nice and straight. Push your hips down. All right, hands on the ground. Push your hips back. Make sure that body's nice and straight. Pull this hip this way. There. Push that knee down. You got a bigger stretch that way. Do this is to teach your hamstring. All right, and slide into your split and hold it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and let's turn to the side. Try to keep your knees straight. So you want everything to be in a nice straight line. You don't want to be way out there or way behind your split. You want to be right on top where it hurts the most. All this stuff's supposed to hurt a little bit. All right, 10, we're not done. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs together and shake them out. All right, stretching is over. Now we're gonna start pumping. All right, I hope you have your water. We're working hard now. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start off with three 30 second handstand holds. All right, All right here we go. And kick up. If you don't have a stopwatch or you don't have anybody helping you put your toes, just count it in your head. Count slow. Push tall. You don't want to be sagging in your handstand. You want to be pressed up really, really tall. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, push, four, three, two, one. All right, so we're 30 seconds up, 15 seconds break, 30 seconds up, 15 seconds break, 30 seconds up. Three rounds. Okay, get ready, and go. Second set, push and point. You can do these kicking up to the wall, or you can walk up the wall and be backwards, stomach into the wall. That's a little bit harder. 15 seconds left. How hard you do it is up to you. You can also hold this longer. Or if this is too hard, hold it less. <clears throat> And stop. All right, you're resting for 15 seconds. Then we have our last set. Three sets of 30 second handstand holds. All right, here we go. Ready and go. This is our last handstand. Point your toes, squeeze your body, push the ground, be super duper tall. You shouldn't be laying on the wall. Only your feet should be on the wall because you want your shoulders to do all the work. Taller, taller. 10 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one. All right. Okay, next exercise. We're kicking back up to a handstand, but in your handstand, you're going to shrug. This is how a gymnast pushes. We don't push with our elbows, we push with our shoulders. All right, so we're doing three sets of 15 shoulder shrugs in a handstand. All right, here we go. So get up in your handstand, and then let your body shrink down and up. Three sets of 15. Do it again. Try not to bend your elbows. Okay, so when you do this, you shouldn't see your elbows doing this. It's your shoulders that you want to see. It's not a lot of movement. All right, we have one more of those. All right, let's go. Shoulders, shoulders, shoulders. All right. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do is three 45 second plank holds. You could do this on your elbows or you could do it on your hands. We're gonna do two on the hands, one on the elbows. All right, here we go. Push the position, go this way so they can see you better. Five, four, three, two, go. So when you're in your push-up position, try to keep your body straight. You want your body straight from your heels all the way up to your shoulders. The other thing is you want your shoulder directly above your hands. You don't want your shoulders way back here, or actually you can lean them forward, but right above the hands is what we're looking for. And we're almost at 30 seconds. You're doing 45 seconds. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze your stomach. Not only is this working a little bit of your upper body, but it's also working your core and your bottom. <clears throat> All right, we got five, four, three, two, one. Relax. I suggest you stretch out your wrists a little bit while you're waiting, because all the handstands and all the push up make your, your wrists real tired. All right, we got two more sets of those. Okay, let's do it again. This time we're gonna do plank on the elbows. Go. Keep your hips down, keep your knees straight. If your wrists are getting really shot or they're just hurt too much, do the planks on your elbows. Works just as much. Might even be a little bit harder. Try to keep your knees straight. We're halfway there. We're on the second set. Squeeze your bottom. 
squeeze your bottom and try to keep your hips flat. You don't want to start lifting. Squeeze. Engages the core. We have 10 seconds left on our second set. And five, four, three, two, one. Trenton, which one do you think is harder, on the hands or the elbows? Same. About the same. So you can, you can do all three on your hands, do all three on the elbows, or you can mix it up. All right, we're going to do one more set. You get to choose which one you want to do. Here we go. Last set, 45 seconds. And go. If you have a lot of... Uh, wrist pain, uh, these are called tiger paws or wrist guards. You can look them up online and get them and they kind of protect the wrist a little bit more. 15 seconds. The boys are on their wrists a lot. So you will see them use those, the girls use them too. And stop. All right, we're done with that exercise. All right. Uh, next exercise is regular standard push-ups. Um, we're going to do three sets. It's up to you. How many do you want to do in each set? You can do five, seven, 10, 12, 15. That's up to you. How you want to do your push-ups is up to you. You want to do them on your knees. You want to do them on your on your hands and feet, legs apart, feet up higher. How hard you do it is up to you. We're doing regular ones and we're gonna do seven. At home, you choose. Okay, here we go. Regular push-ups. Arms are shoulder width apart and elbows are going out. Let's do seven. Here we go. One, two, three. Go all the way up and all the way down. Go ahead, count your own. Now the quality of your body position is really important. You don't want to look like this. You don't want to be saggy. You want to be nice and tight like a table. Um, chin to the ground or chest to the ground. All right, second set, let's go. These are standard push-ups. Shoulder width apart, elbows are going out. Okay, we got one more set of those. All right, let's go ahead and do it. Last one. All the way up, all the way up. All right. Okay, next exercise. We did shoulder shrugs in a handstand. Now we're gonna do shoulder shrugs in a push-up position. So again, we're sinking and pushing with our shoulders. It's kind of awkward. It's very specific to gymnastics. All right, so you're gonna start in a push-up position. Okay. Face that way. Uh, let's do three sets of 15. Sink more down. Let your chest sink in more. There, that's right, push higher up, okay? So if you, your back should dip, and then you wanna push back out. Dip, and then push back out. Very awkward, you kinda of have to concentrate to do these right. Okay, second set, here we go. Go slower, try to show more body movement, that's right. Push up higher in the back. I wanna see your back pop up, right up here around, yeah. There. Three more. All right, that second set. We got one more set of those. Those are called shoulder shrugs. Again, they're very specific to gymnastics. All right, last set. Push higher up in the back. Higher. Make your back look like it's popping out. All right. Okay, the next exercise we're gonna do is military push-ups or tricep push-ups. Now when you do these push-ups, your elbows don't go out. Your elbows are gonna go, stay right next to your body. And when you do that, it forces you to work on your tricep. 
All right, so we're doing three sets of tricep push-ups. Again, it's up to you how many you do. I'd rather you do less correctly than a lot of them not correctly. Uh, so let's do, we're gonna do three sets of five, but we're gonna go for doing them really, really correct. That was pretty good, go slow. If you're doing cardio exercises or you're just trying to burn out your muscle, then you wanna go fast. Other than that, go slower, you'll get stronger. All right, second set, go ahead. Remember elbows, stay close to your body. Try to get your chin to the ground, if that's too easy, get your chest to the ground. All right, we're gonna do one more set of those. <clears throat> Go ahead. All right, let's get the uh, trapezoid next. All right, the next exercise we're gonna do, we're hitting the tricep again. We're gonna do dips. Um, at home, you can do these on the edge of a chair, on the edge of the couch. Since we're here at the gym and we have this, we're gonna use this. Um, we're gonna do three sets of 15. At home, you can do more. You can do uh, sets of 20, sets of 25. Go ahead. Straight legs. Try to make your butt go all the way to the ground, good. Now, if you're at home and you wanna make this exercise harder, put a chair in front of you and put your legs up on the chair. harder than that. You want to put your legs on that chair and then lift one leg up. We're not going to do that, but I'm just giving you other ways to make it harder. All right, last set of dips. Let's go. exercise for shoulders. This actually works more than the shoulders, um, but I'm still putting it in the upper body category. All right, we are going to, let me move this. So we're holding the C shape on the ground. It's kind of like a push-up position, but your arms or out further in your rounding the body. So it's basically the ending of a back handspring position. All right, face that way, that be, this way or that way. Start on your knees, get in a push-up position, and then knees off the ground and then stretch your arms out farther. Farther out, there you go. So here we go, we're looking for this nice rounded position. Oh, he's gonna take his socks off because he's sliding. All right, we're gonna do <clears throat> three sets of 15 seconds. And starts. Now, the wider that C is, the harder you have to work. But you wanna make sure your bottom is tight, your arms are straight, pushing on the ground. Can you look at your hands but not stick your head out too much? Looking for that nice, See. Five more seconds. And stop. Okay, three 20 second holds. All right, and go. 
See how his ears are showing? If his hands could get further out, make it a little bit harder, make him work harder, make him get a little stronger. Push, push, push. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, we have one more of those. All right, here we go, last one. Hands, get back out there. Go. You're pushing, squeezing in, squeezing your bottom. That's 10 seconds, we got 10 more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good job. This is a good time to get a little drink. Uh, we're moving on to the stomach section. All right. All right, here we go. Let's lay down on our backs. And you can put your hands on the ground right here next to your pockets. Um, or you can put them out there. We're doing leg lift, butt up, down. We're doing 20. All right, here we go. So you lift your legs up to vertical, go, and then pop up. Not backwards, upwards. One, leg lift, there, that was better. Three, very good. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten more. Ten. I'm working backwards. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So that's a twofer. You're doing two exercises in one turn a leg lift and a butt up, and they're both targeting the lower stomach. All right, next exercise uh, windshield wipers. If you put your arms out on this one, it helps you have a little more balance and you're just dropping your legs, dropping your legs. Don't let them hit the floor. Come close to the floor, but don't touch the floor. So one, one, two, two. You have 20. You are allowed to use your hands for support. Put that. The lower sides. You don't need to do 40. No. That's 40. Let's do 20 total. Well, yeah, I guess it is 40. So one, one, two, two. If you do them like that, you do 20. If you count one, two, three, four, then it's 40. But if you go one, one, then it's 20. So he had a really good question. He said 40 or 20. So. It just depends how you're counting. If you're going one, two, three, four, then you have to do 40. If you're counting one, one, two, two, then you're doing 20. You're doing 20 on each side. track of how many he was doing. We're moving on. Um, we're going to do 25 tuck in and outs. So lay on your back. Your hands are here and you're just doing tuck in and out. In and out. Face sideways so they can see better. And go. You're in a hollow body and go. You're doing 25. Tuck in and out. We're doing 25 of those. Now, if you wanted to make this exercise harder, then lift your arms up. The higher your arms are, the harder it is. You can also do it like this. All right, next exercise. We're doing 30 hollow rocks. 
Now, you need to be careful with this exercise because you can't be arched in your back. Your lower back has to be on the ground. Um, so if you can't do it correctly, instead of doing rocks, just do a hollow hold. And sometimes bending your knees helps you be in a better position. You don't want to be in an arch. If your lower back is hurting, you need to fix your position or do it a different way. All right, here we go. We're doing 30 hollow rocks. Go ahead. Straight legs for you. Okay. So arms here. You want it to be harder. Hands here. Harder here. Hardest here. You should not be hurting in your lower back when you do this. Done? Okay. All right. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to hold that hollow position for 30 seconds. I'm going to, we're going to do it the easy way first so you can see. All right, ready? We're going to do it with bent legs like that. And go. So keeping your legs bent sometimes helps you keep your lower back rounded. So you want your stomach in and this rounded. If your lower back could touch the ground, that would be really good. That's 15. Okay, if you wanted to make it harder, start stretching the legs out. 10 seconds left. You wanna make it harder, move your hands up. Harder, hands here. Harder, hands are up here. And stop. All right, we have that three times. So when I do things for 30 seconds, I'll do a 30 seconds, 15 second break, 30 seconds, 15 second break, and here we go, second set, and go, 30 seconds. Let's do it with straight legs for you, good. Let's get your arms up a little more, good. And the more open your hollow is, the better without being arched in the lower back, 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Is that second set or third? Second set. Okay, we have one more set of those. And here we go. Ready, go. Last second. Ten seconds left. And stop. All right, next exercise. We're gonna use the wall for this one. Um, lay down on your back, but put your feet up here. We are trying to touch our toes. The closer you are to the wall and the higher your feet are, the harder it is. So how hard you make it is up to you. We're gonna do 30 toe touches. Try to touch those toes. So first go here, then try to touch this. If you're really trying to push it, touch the wall up here. Go for it 30 times. All right, we have one more exercise for the stomach, but now we're gonna hit the upper sides. Um, so you're gonna lay down on your back, have your feet facing that way. 
be facing that way, lay down on your back. Bend your knees. All right, so we're gonna put this arm out like that. This one behind your head. Bend this leg. No, the other leg. There you go. All right, so we're doing side, upper side crunches. You're bringing the elbow up to the knee. So you're sitting up and crossing over. So we're getting the upper side stomach. All right, let's go. You have 25 on each side. Try to make that elbow touch that knee. Open that elbow back up every time. You get a bigger range of motion. All right, all right, the stomach section is done. So we're gonna move to the back muscles. All right, <clears throat> you're gonna lay down on your stomach and you're going to be <clears throat> Lifting the opposite arm and leg. So you're gonna be laying down on your stomach and then you're gonna be doing what I did. It's all for your back muscles and your bottom and your hamstrings too. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna count so you can get a, a kind of a rhythm. But once we get started, it should be like one, one, two, two, and we're doing 20. All right, here we go. One, one, two, two, three, three, lift arm up higher. Four, four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, ten, ten. Let's stop for a second. Lay down. Lay to your chin on the ground. There you go. Now try to lift up higher. Here we go. Eleven. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. 13, 13, 14, 14, 15, 15, 16, 16, 17, 17, 18, 18, 19, 19, 20, and 20. All right, next exercise for your back. We're doing arch ups. So the upper and the lower body are lifting at the same time. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're gonna do the last ten at a quicker pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Okay. Last exercise. We're doing arch rocks. I suggest you start in a seal, and then let your arms out so that helps you initiate the rocking. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. When you do this, try to keep your arms straight. Try to keep them by your ears. The, the less flexible you are in the shoulders, the harder it is to get your arms up there, but keep trying. All right, um, that's it for the back. We have one more section and then we're done. All right, this is gonna be let lower body. All right, turn to stand up. We're gonna do the toe rise complex. So uh, 15 slow, 10 fast. You're gonna do start with your feet straight. You're gonna go up and down. 15 slow, and then 10 fast ones. Here we go. One, two, go as high as you can. Three, higher. Four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing the same thing, but now we're going to have our feet turned in. And we're repeating. One, two, count, three, count yourself. So the re we're going to do this exercise in three different positions. Half of it is to make our ankles stronger. But the other half is to prevent our ankles from rolling. That's why we have the three different positions. All right, and then the last position is feet turned out. And again, 15 slow, 10 fast. When you do the fast ones, you really start feeling the burn in your calves. All right, next exercise. It's uh, two exercises in one. We're getting the quad and we're hitting the calf again. So we're gonna squat, stand, calf raise, but we're doing it on one leg. So you're gonna squat, touch the ground, stand up, toe raise. Here we go, we're doing 20 on each side. Here we go, one, two, three, Four. Stand up all the way up before you get them real away. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Stand up straight when you get to real away. Eleven. No. Wow. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and switch legs. All right, 20 on the other side. Go ahead and start count your own. Okay, but if we're not like teetering over, you have to bend, stand up, releve. This exercise will also, keep going, show you how bad our balance is. Like I didn't realize how bad my balance was until I started doing one-legged exercises. It took me a while to get, get my balance under control. All right, the next exercise is kind of hard. Um, just try to do your best. It's a triple candlestick straight jump. So this is three exercises in one turn. So you do a regular candlestick stretch jump with two feet. Then you do a candlestick, try to stand up with one leg. Candlestick, try to stand up with the other leg. So two, one, one is one. All right, I'll show you the rhythm. Here we go. Um, we're gonna do seven. Okay, so face forward so they can see you better. Okay, here we go. Ready, here we go. One, two feet, jump. Two, one foot, this time you don't jump. Good, one, this time the other foot and we're not jumping. Good job. If you can keep your leg in front of you while you're standing, that would be ideal. Okay, that's one, two. Two feet. Oh, yeah, we're starting on two feet. One foot, you fixed it. One, and then again, candlestick with the other one. As you can see, he's struggling with this. This is not easy. And again, that's two. So 
Candlestick two feet. Candlestick one foot. Candlestick the other foot. Come on. Three, good, keep going. Candlestick two feet. Candlestick one foot. Candlestick the other foot. Four, five, starting number five. All right, while he's finishing that up, he's on number five. While he's finishing that up, I'll tell you that this exercise right here did wonders uh, for a group of dancers. I had the opportunity to work in Pasadena for a while, and the gymnastics place was right next to a dance studio, and everybody wanted to learn aerials. So I needed to get their, their their single leg jumping power more developed. And this exercise right here did a lot for, for them. So again, if you did it really good, you'd be able to keep that leg here as you're standing up from the candlestick. Keep working on that. That's a really, really good exercise. All right. Okay. Um, Next exercise. <laughs> this is a hard one. Um, we're doing wall sits. All right, so you need a wall. You're gonna put your back on the wall and you're gonna start sinking to where it looks like you're in a chair. And go. Okay, you want your feet more over here. Right there. Sit a little bit lower. Move your hands so they can see. So what we're looking for is a 90 degree angle. So his feet are too far out. His feet should be that way more. Right there. Hands off the knees. 15 seconds. Your body's kind of crooked, make it straighter. This gets so hard that your legs start shaking and trembling. And that's good. Five, four, three, two, one. And then relax. You really feel that in the quads right away. And it can get worse. You can do single leg wall squat. All right. Five, four, three, two, one, and drop back into that position. Sink more, sink more, sink more, a little bit more. Right there. Good. Try to keep your back on the wall. Don't use your hands for support. Just make those legs work. If your legs start trembling, that's good. 15 seconds. Come on, hang in there, hang in there, hang in there. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, you got 15 seconds to relax and then we have one more wall squat. Just for fun, you should try this with one leg. Okay, here we go, five, four, three, two, one. And sink into that chair, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, come on. All right, this is the last one of these. Fifteen seconds, come on, you can do it. Breathe, when it gets hard, breathe. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. All right. All right, okay, we, our next exercise, I didn't know I had that on my list, but we are gonna do the single leg wall squat. Uh, we're gonna try to do we're gonna try to do two 10 second single leg wall sits all right here we go so first you get into that position lower 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 more more your feet need to be in more a little bit lower and then straighten this leg straight out. 10, lower, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, higher, 3, 2, 1. Woo! That's hard. Again, you want to be in a 90 degree angle. Your body will want you to be like that. You have to fight to get right back in there if you really want to hit those quads. Okay, we're going to try it on the other leg. 
So sink back into that chair. Your feet need to be in more. Sink more, more. And other leg, here we go. One, two, three, four. That leg should be here. Five, six, seven. Get that leg up. Eight, nine, ten. Relax. That's hard for me too. Okay, we're gonna try that again on each leg. Now, remember, you are really fight for that 90 degree angle and when you get that other leg out, it should get right to here if you're doing it really good. It might take you some time to do this right. Here we go. And back into the sit. 90 degrees, a little bit more, and hold that leg out. One, two, three, four, five. Come on, fight, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right. Okay. Other side. One, last time. Here we go. And drop into the chair. More. Sit more, 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 more. And get that other leg out. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Keep your foot on the wall. 3, 2, 1. Ah, I can see how hard that is. Good job, you guys. All right. Okay. I think we're coming to the end here. And we are, we have come to the end. Uh, silver team, the only thing we didn't do was hip flexors. If you already know what to do, go ahead and do that. We're gonna stop the video right here. I hope you worked hard. I hope you're sore. Keep yourself busy. All right, see you later.